Uh, so that we got a forum. Uh, we're glad to have uh, everyone with us today. We got Jeff Bobo with the review and Tessa Worley with the Kingsport Times News, Mayor of the Wind, Nancy Barker with the Chamber. Uh, I noticed one other lady here. We're glad to have you with us and all the board members. And we got Michael Parker with Network. So we've got a, everyone here. Did everyone get a copy of the minutes of the previous meeting? Any corrections? I'm hearing none. Uh, do I have a motion that we accept them as well? Got a motion, got a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? So moved. Uh, Rebecca, if you want to give a report on the financial conditions. Yes. So we had a beginning balance on July the 27th of $19,557.31. No deposits were made last month. Um, we had just a few checks. Um, Notably, the check number 2745 for $954 to Trimble. That was for the reactor door um, that we were having put up. And then um, Rogers will review 77484 was for a Discover Hawkins ad, giving us a balance today of $16,706.54. Sure, sure. Yes. Yeah. Anybody have any questions or you have to on the financials? Yeah, got, a, got a motion to accept them. Uh, records got a second. Uh, on, uh, or, uh, all in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Any opposed? So moved. You mentioned the reactor door. Carrie, you want to give us a report on where you had on sealing off the reactor vessel building? The mason will be ready to go this next week if we don't have any more substantial rain further delaying what he already had promised to do. And uh, we lack just the um, hinges and latch pins for the second door that would go over the top of the first steel door uh, being done at the uh, TCAT Center. So. Uh, I think Woody will probably have those ready this week, if not the first to next, then uh, hopefully we'll get the work done. We're not going to have the materials delivered because of the possibility of somebody fooling with it until he's ready to work the very next day or the same day. Wow. So it's imminent, possibly uh, start and finish maybe toward the end of this month. I asked Mark this each, each month. Uh, we had an MO report on the pavement of the road. From Haven't heard anything for the last little while. Uh, I'm going by the assumption that no news is good news. They're still, still on track on to get it done. So yeah. hopefully we can get that done this fall and, and have a nice new road in. Uh, on old business, uh, Project Heat is still on track. Hopefully, I have an announcement. It's in the hands of the state right now. Uh, an announcement on it next month for the benefit of everybody. Uh, we've got another project follower that's in the hands of the state. Hopefully, we'll have an announcement on it by next month. So, two new projects uh, there at Phipps Bend. Uh, Jeremy, uh, give us an update on the water line situation at Cardinal Glass and, and where we're at on possibly coming on down the road. Well, I've got some really good news since uh, since last meeting. Uh, we found out that through the TDEC monies and stuff through the county that we applied for, we're going to get um, we're going to get some grant money to come from. My original plan, let me back up a little bit. My original plan was I wanted to run a 12 inch duct liner pipe direct from my water plant, coming straight out of the water plant, all the way down to the submergible utility boundary. That way we could quadruple the flow we currently have and open that up 
if, if, if business and fish being needed, if we would be able to sell that water at a wholesale rate to Sir Gornsville Utility District, and then they could in return supply any massive needs in the park. Well, uh, that dream looks like it's going to come to reality. Uh, we're going to get some money from the T-Deck side to lay 12 inch from the water plant down to Halston Mills. Of course, the EDA grant is going to take us from the press, from Press Road, all the way to Cardinal Glass. Now, that mile, mile and a half section in between, we're currently working with EDA and Lucas Blankenship at EDA. He's wanting to work with us and try to get that center section funded, and that would open the door to straight 12-inch duck line pipe all the way to the Survival Utility District boundary. So that looks like within the next year that's going to be a reality. So everything's going good. We're actually, and we're fixing to go to bid on the first stage of the project, which is uh, the uh, press road to Cardinal Glass. We're just waiting on two easements and TDEC approval, and we're ready to go to bid. Very good. Is there any report on where we're at on the sponsor utility? You know, the, uh, the upgrades of the facilities inside Phipps Bend Park and the and the 750,000 gallon water storage tank. I was told that through some CDBG work that I'm doing with Mount Carmel right now, uh, the contractor I'm currently using, I was told that that project has went to bed. So, it must, I mean, I've not heard it from Reed or anything, but uh, right. I have heard, you know, kind of through the industry that that is went to bid. So oh, okay. Should be start and, and <coughs> already been awarded. Is that correct, Rebecca? That I don't know. I think so. That construction will start any time on that loop inside the park. Oh, okay. Is that water tank maintenance started? It's not, has it? Not that I'm aware of. Now, do you know if there's still going to be an interruption of water in there with this? I was told there would. They wouldn't be. That's what I was told, but I'm, I'm not involved in that. Okay. Need to find out for sure. But I can find out. Okay. Well, that would be good to know if it is. We need to notify. The Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, that would be a lot of water. With it being a loop, though, just from my experience, it, it, it should be, and if so, very minimal, maybe to do just long enough to do a tie-in yeah, or something like that. So. I, think, I think cutting the valves in was going to be where yeah. I have to interrupt yeah. for a day. Further, further information to give the industry is lots of notice the better I agree on that. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of them one day in like a few days notice. I, you know, if we can yeah. get my months notice, you can have that start planning around yeah. all that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I was talk, we were talking earlier, in the past we have done a REAP meeting. This is, uh, tell me again what that stands for. Retention, it's an um, expansion assistance program. Uh, which basically is for all the industry in Hopkins County to come together. And we try to get TVA, we try to get the uh, University of Tennessee involved, the state ECD folks, host and electric. Uh, the gas utility group, the water folks, uh, just to apprise the existing industries of, of anything that's going on that would affect them. And it's always been a really good attended meeting. We've not had one since COVID, but we've not really seen a great need for it. But this year, you know, we, we see that things are changing and a lot going on. And so, it may be that we're going to try to have one of those meetings probably in the month of September. Uh, and, and we would maybe get the word out as soon as we can to get it on people's calendars and everything. So Rebecca will be working on that and getting with all of the partners that, that work with us on these things. Uh, we've got the governor's conference coming up. Um, uh, what's the date, Sam? This was when we did, I think it was um, September the 18th and 19th. Is that right? Okay. In yeah. Chattanooga this yes. year, the first time that I ever recall it being there, but the Governor's Economic Community Development Conference that they bring in the 
commissioner and the governor and all of the, the different uh, folks uh, across the state and go over what the state's doing. And there's a lot going on across the state right now with big old Blue Oval and, and all the way to uh, up in our area. So it's something that we need to have representation at. So I understand Rebecca and Mark are both. Nancy will be and Nancy, Nancy's planning on attending, so we will have some representation there for that. I do have one extra room available if any of the board members would like to if go. If you're interested Just in it, let me know as soon as possible. Uh, we, I think we've already set the Christmas dinner for. Yeah, we've had to set the Christmas dinner. Joe from. Uh, Hell Springs in called me the other day and said it was getting booked up. So I said it if you want to mark your calendars for December the 7th. And I'll send out information on that later. I told her that was a date that we live in infamy and she didn't know what I was talking about. Uh, uh, for us uh, war babies, we, we remember that, that date very well. And, uh, Governor Roosevelt. Seven. Uh, President Roosevelt. December the 7th. Um, Mayor, uh, do you have any, anything to bring before our group? No, there's lots of stuff going on, but not really involving uh, industrial board. <laughs> there is a lot going on, so I can hop this kind of man. Michael, uh, I know you're, you're working on a couple of projects. Uh, you want to give us an update on what Networks is doing? Sure. be uh, real brief today. Uh, we continue to work with Project Volcano. This is a large project looking at the uh, roughly larger than 100 acre uh, in Pittston Industrial Park uh, with require rail uh, service to the back of the lot. They have a supplier uh, that supplies hydrochloric acid used in the production of the silicone uh, that they would be producing. Uh, that company is also finished. They got 5,000 people uh, currently employed. They will be in town the week of Labor Day uh, to look at an adjacent site uh, to co-locate along with Project Rocks here. So we're looking forward to welcoming here to the community. I'll be reaching out to specific individuals uh, to be part of that uh, site visit as well. <coughs> Other than that, project activity remains strong. We're still receiving lots of RFPs, although uh, with you know a lot of your property under contract right now, uh, it's kind of hard to market a property that's under a right of first refusal, just to be honest with you. Uh, having said that, I think your eggs are in the right basket. The large project, Project Volcano, has continued to make huge strides uh, in, in nearing the completion or at least announcement, or the announcement. Uh, and it, it all looks great right now. I can't stress that enough. Uh, so Jeremy, I'll be reaching out to you as well to continue that part of the conversation uh, with the co location of the supplier. Uh, other than that, like I said, Project Kidney remains strong. Uh, we'll also be going to the Governor's Conference as well. Uh, right now we have a consultant in town from Jones, Jones Lane LaSalle, uh, currently uh, interested in marketing aerospace parks. I know that's been a big interest to a lot of people in the region here. Um, we look to really do some uh, activity with that. So we're looking forward to hosting him, and hopefully we get some movement in the aerospace park. That's all I have. Does anybody have any questions of Michael on any of these? Uh, I saw activities? Allison step in. She might have something she could add to some of those projects. I know she's heavily involved in many of them. Hi, how are you all doing? My name is Allison Woodward, um, counterpart with Lynn Tully um, with Tennessee ECD. So, yeah, like we work very closely, of course, with you all. And, and Michael, um, uh, Project Volcano does does seem like a really great project, so I'm, I'm happy for y'all on that. And I didn't know about the the second one coming in, so thanks for dropping that bomb. Um, <laughs> that's it's a, one of those select members. That's, that's right. I don't know. I guess I'm in the, the need to know. No, I'm just kidding. But, yeah, no, that's that's great. So uh, I better be on the invite list for that, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, but uh, we are working, and uh, I know there's a couple of other projects that, that we've discussed, Project Follower and uh, Project Heat, Project Elk, however you, so I promise those are still going, and I feel like I've talked to uh, the gentleman with Project Heat like at least once a week for the past month and a half, so we're just making those tweaks to the application as we go, so hopefully you'll all be able to announce that soon. 
um, just bear with us. And also just another ECD update. In October on our rural development side of the house, we um, will have kind of like a roadshow roundtable discussion in October. And when we get the final date uh, hammered down on, on those folks, uh, when they'll be coming into town, they'll probably come back to TCAT if I had to guess, like they did um, a couple years ago, if y'all remember when they were in Elizabethton. Carter County, but um, yeah, they'll, they'll just be talking about like the, the different programs um, and we're really trying to stress those with our stakeholders, so that'll be a good opportunity. Uh, we'll be sending out additional information on that as well. So, but yeah, if y'all have any questions, just let me know. Allison, thank you for uh, attending today, and I know they're pressuring you to, <laughs> to get this thing announced, and so it's good that uh, that you can be with us, and hopefully by next month we get all of the details ironed out. And, yeah, uh, for sure. Uh, I promise that whatever pressure you're putting on me, I'm doubling it on this. Well, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it, go, it goes well. That's good. That's good. Along that same line, and, and we'll fill you in later, uh, the executive committee met with uh, an existing industry in Hopkins County this week, and, and they're talking about a, a, well, actually the company has, uh, uh, I don't know if the word merged with a, a much larger international company, mm -hmm. and, and they're looking at a, at a fairly substantial expansion in Hopkins County and so we are going to uh, go into executive session here in a few minutes and talk about, about them and, and everything since it was our first meeting. Yeah. Actually it was our second meeting mm -hmm. I guess. We met with them, they explained the... We uh, met with the local We met with the local group and then this week we met with the uh, folks from the international group and, and the project has basically doubled and so uh, we're real excited for that. The, the odd thing about e economic development, the majority of your jobs come from existing industry. You know, all the hoopla and the, the banner wave and everything comes from new companies coming in, but, but the, the bulk of the investment and the new jobs comes from existing industry, and as long as we can provide them uh, like Jeremy was talking about, the, what they need, you know, just like Cardinal uh, has, has been a breath of fresh air for the glass plant up there, and I think the employees are excited, but you've got to get the water and the sewer and make sure that they've got all of the things that they need up there uh, to maintain a good, solid industry, provide jobs and, and tax base and everything for Hopkins County. Uh, we will be talking about that, like I say, to finalize some, some things that we're going to offer to them uh, in executive session. Does anybody else have anything before we... I do want to make mention that um, I talked to Kenny Smith this morning from the UT Center of Industrial Services, and he has resigned. I'm going so they will be replacing him, and he said, you know, it takes them forever to do a hire, so. He's been good. He's, he, he's, he attends all he's our meetings. He's been a great resource. He's been a real great resource for the University of Tennessee, and uh, uh, I don't even remember anybody before him. I don't either. <laughs> I mean, I don't. Uh, Kenny appeared and was always available when we needed him and attended our meetings and things. And so it'd be interesting <coughs> to see who replaces him and if we get the same enthusiasm that Kenny brought to that job. So, anybody else have anything? I know we, we've taken up about 30 minutes, but I want to cover all the bases we can. Hearing none, we'll, we'll move into executive session and, and discuss this new project and, uh, and the expansion and see how, how that goes. Thank you all.